Coyotes All Around by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Steve Bjorkman. And the end papers already start giving us information. It says, Factoid. Deserts get fewer than 10 inches of rain a year. And we can see on the title page that this book is from a series called Math Start, and the topic in math that it covers is rounding. So again, Coyotes All Around by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Steve Bjorkman, and the publisher is Harper Collins. One afternoon, a pack of coyotes gathered on the porch of their desert ranch. Look at all those roadrunners! said Clumsy Coyote. Hmm, said Clever Coyote. Isn't it just about lunchtime? There must be hundreds of them, said Cool Coyote. Hundreds? said Clever Coyote. That's ridiculous. There can't be that many. Why don't you guys count and see how many there really are? Factoid. Coyote can be pronounced coyote or coyote. Clumsy Coyote said, Um, I'll take this side. Careful Coyote took the smallest coyote, little one, and said, Let's try over here. I've got the best side, bragged Cool Coyote. Everyone started counting. Everyone except Clever Coyote. Factoid. Roadrunners can fly, but they usually run. They can go as fast as 15 miles an hour. Clever Coyote was starting to get hungry. While everybody was busy counting, she slunk. She crept. She jumped. She missed. And over on the left, you can see, someone said, I counted exactly 21. I, I get 12. Well, I get 17. Um, gee, I only counted eight. Factoid. Coyotes will eat almost anything, from rabbits and mice to insects, berries, fruit, and even garbage. Oof, said Clever Coyote. The ground was hard. So how many birds were there? I need a piece of paper to add everything up, said Careful. Ha! said Clever Coyote. I bet I can do it in my head. And come really close. No way! said Little One. Factoid. Coyotes can be found all over North America. Twenty-one is very close to twenty. Twelve is close to ten. Seventeen is closer to twenty than ten. And eight is almost ten. Adding tens is easy. Twenty plus ten plus twenty plus ten equals sixty. Around sixty roadrunners, said Clever Coyote. Careful took out a pencil and paper and added up the numbers. It's exactly fifty-eight he said. She was just a little over. They don't call me clever for nothing, said Clever Coyote. I bet there are lots of lizards out here, said Clumsy. Where there are roadrunners, there are lizards. Hey, you're right, said Cool Coyote. It looks like there are thousands of them. There can't be that many, said Clever Coyote. Why don't you count them and see? Factoid. Zebra-tailed lizards wave their striped tails to distract their enemies. Clever Coyote was very hungry. While everybody was busy counting, she prowled, she stalked, she bounced. <sighs> she missed. I counted eleven. I beat you again, exactly thirteen. I'm way ahead with twenty-seven. Um, 
I only counted two. Factoid. Most adult coyotes are about four feet long from tip to tail. And two feet tall. Ouch, said Clever Coyote. That rock was really pointy. So how many lizards were there? I'll get my paper, said Careful. Don't bother, said Clever Coyote. I'll do it in my head again. Eleven is just one over ten. Thirteen is closer to ten than twenty. Twenty-seven is a lot closer to thirty than twenty. Two is a lot closer to zero than ten. Now I'll add up all my tens. Ten plus ten plus thirty plus zero equals fifty. Around fifty lizards, Clever Coyote said. Careful wrote the numbers down and added them up. It's exactly fifty-three, he said. She was just a little under. That's why they call me Clever, said Clever Coyote. There must be a lot of grasshoppers, said Clumsy. Where there are lizards, there are always grasshoppers. Look, you're right, said Cool Coyote. There could be a million of them. Oh, stop exaggerating, said Clever Coyote. Go ahead and count them up. Factoid. Coyotes live alone in pairs or in groups. Clever Coyote was starving. While everybody was busy counting, she lurked. She hid. She leaped. She missed. And they're saying, as they're counting, 24 over here, an accurate count of 18. I bet I've got more than anybody, 25. You're right, but at least I'm up to 12. Factoid. Grasshoppers can jump distances up to 200 times their body length. Yow! said Clever Coyote. That was a really prickly cactus. So how many grasshoppers were there? Where's my paper? asked Careful. Never mind, said Clever Coyote. I bet I can really come really close again. But if I do, you guys have to gather some beetles for lunch. They're my favorite. You're on, said Clumsy. You'll never do it three times in a row. Fact, factoid. A saguaro cactus can grow as tall as 50 feet and live as many as 200 years. 24 is closer to 20 than 30. 18 is almost 20. 25 is halfway between 20 and 30. 12 is closer to 10 than 20. Now I'll add up my 10s. 20 plus 20 plus 30 plus 10 equals 80. Around 80 grasshoppers, Clever Coyote said. Careful wrote the numbers down and added them up. By gosh, she did it, she shouted. The exact answer is 79, he said. She was really close this time. Clever Coyote does it again, said Clever. Now. Hurry up with those beetles. She smacked her lips. Clumsy jumped, careful pounced, cool leaped, and little one followed. They landed right on top of Clever Coyote. I guess it's about time I gave up on lunch, groaned Not-So-Clever Coyote from the bottom of the pile. I don't see any beetles. Not even one. Even I can't spot any. Wait, 
There's one on Clever's head! For adults and kids. In Coyotes All Round, the math concept is rounding. Rounding is one way to estimate the sum of several numbers. Knowledge of place value is key to the child's understanding of rounding and estimating whole numbers. If you would like to have more fun with math, con math concepts presented in Coyotes All Round, here are a few suggestions. Note, if the number in the ones column is four or less, then round down to the nearest 10. 42 becomes 40. If the number in the ones column is five or greater, then round up to the nearest 10. 47 becomes 50. Reread the story and point out how Clever Coyote uses the number line to round each of the numbers. Talk with the child about why it's easier to add numbers after they have been rounded to the nearest 10. Make up an addition problem consisting of three two-digit numbers, for example, 14 plus 37 plus 23, and have the child round each number, 10 plus 40 plus 20, and find the sum. Have the child use a calculator to find the sum of the unrounded numbers and compare this answer to his or her estimate. Take the face cards out of the deck of cards and place the deck face down between two or more players. Each player takes a turn drawing two cards and uses them to make a double digit number. For example, a 5 and a 2 would be 52. The players round their numbers, 52 would round to 50, and the player with the highest number wins. Following are some activities that will help you extend the concepts presented in Coyotes all around into a child's everyday life. It's called three in a row. Take nine blank index cards and write the following numbers on them. 17, 24, 1, 12, 8, 31, 29, 36, and 4. Place these cards face down into the pool. On a sheet of paper, create a grid as displayed below. The first player picks three numbers from the pool. The player rounds each chosen number and finds the sum of the rounded numbers. He or she places a marker, buttons, coins, or small colored pieces of paper will work. He or she places a marker over the sum in the grid. The first player to have three markers in a row is the winner. Grocery shopping. Have the child estimate the number of cereal boxes on each shelf. Then have the child count all the boxes and compare the total to their estimate. The following books include some concepts that are presented in Coyotes All Around. Math for All Seasons by Greg Tang. Counting Crocodiles by Judy Sierra, Counting on Frank by Rod Clement, and Moira's Birthday by Robert N. Munch.